Hello, welcome to a, uh, a slightly different Res React today. So uh, normally I react to uh, my subscribers' songs. I have done a couple of reaction videos to hardware as well. Uh, this is the first one I've done to software. So I got contacted the other day by uh, these guys from Valiant Samples asking me if I would be interested in doing a review of their new um, guitar plug-in sample pack thing, um, which is called... Uh, quarter own guitar revis. So uh, I said, yes, sounds very interesting. So I had a quick look at what it was all about. Uh, so it's a new cinematic electric guitar instrument that will expand your imagination, ambient and abstract guitar sounds at your fingertips. So I'm not sure, I don't know a lot about this company. I think they only seem to have this one available at the moment. Um, so the quarter own guitar revis. So it's 79 US dollars. There's a load of information there that you can sort of read about it, but apparently it's based on one of Europe's greatest guitarists and composers, Claudio Quartarone. Who, I mean, I'm being honest, I've never heard of him. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they have recreated his signature musical palette inside this contact instrument. So, uh, once you've downloaded it, I'm not going to do. Uh, I'm going to do a, a proper full review at a later date when I've got my head around it. Or this is basically just me reacting to what it sounds like uh, in a Res Reacts styley. So I've got it installed in the free contact player. Uh, I've got quite a few contact stuff things in here, and they. I mean, all of these are brilliant. They sound really good. Um, the only thing I find with the contact stuff, and I don't know if it's my computer or what, but they do properly max out my CPU. But anyway, uh, I've got it loaded in here. I've not heard any of this, I know nothing about it, so I'm just going to stick it in and uh, see what it sounds like. I mean, it sounds quite sort of up my street with sort of the ambient -y guitar stuff. So, it looks like instruments are split into, we've got like guitar -y sounds, we've got pads and keys. So, let's open up the guitar and let's just stick in the first preset which is called Simple and Clean. We'll see what it looks like and see what reaction we've got. So I'm playing it off push over here. Uh, so here we go, the first sound. Ooh. Well, it sounds like a guitar. Hold on. Let me just let it load in a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, I'm just letting it load in, I think, the full thing into memory in here. It, again, this is the thing, I find these contact things, they do sound brilliant, but and I don't know if it's my laptop or what, but it takes forever to load. But anyway. Oh, that's rather nice. Ooh. Let's go down a few octaves. Okay, so the harder we hit, we get some nice different sort of sounds in there. Ooh, now that does sound like a guitar player. That's, I'm quite impressed, I've got to admit. Okay, <laughs> nice. Right, let's whip through a few of these. Uh, so that's simple and clean. Then we've got simple and sweet. Okay, not a massive difference, but still. That's bloody brilliant, isn't it? Uh, let's just do another <laughs> simple. We'll do simple and wide, and then I was going to pick a few at random. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to go through every preset, but I'll have a look at how many there are. Uh, and then I'm going to live with it then for a week or two and actually read the manual for once in my life and uh, see what it all does. Because apparently you, can, you combine two different sounds here. Uh, let's just, while that's loaded in. Yeah, the way it works here is it combines two different sound sources to create new and interesting uh, resulting sounds, all sampled from a Greg Bennett AV7BK electric guitar processed and edited using the library so total of 26 sound sources all right ranging from regular guitar sounds to more extract sources okay so i've got to read all that and work out how to use the damn thing properly but this is uh, simple and wide those i love those low notes down there mm. 
Okay. Right, I'm impressed so far. Uh, right, let's pick some at random. So these are the how many have we got then? So in the guitar one, we've got fifty presets. Thoughts of birds. That sounds interesting. Let's <laughs> see what this sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Thoughts of birds. Okay, so he's got that like, little fluttery kind of thing. I like that when you let go of the note, you get like the... Like you're taking your fingers off the strings. It sounds very realistic. Yeah, this is... Got that little kind of, yeah. I mean, it's with the ambient stuff as well. It's just... Beautiful. Right, let's try another guitar one, then we'll have us listen to these pads and other stuff. Uh, Angelic Grains. Sounds interesting. Let's see what this one sounds like. Okay, so, Angelic Grains. Okay, okay not a massive difference. A huge reverb tail on there. You see what I mean? Just looking at my CPU, look, it's, it's like if I'm playing nothing, it's down at zero, and as soon as I play one note, it's like shooting right up to 40-50%. I am getting a new laptop soon, so we'll see if that sorts that out. Okay, alright, so I mean, there doesn't seem to be a massive difference in sound in those, but obviously it is the guitar section, so you would expect it to sound like a guitar. Uh, let's have a listen to the pads, so quite interesting to listen to this one. So let's start with the first one, uh, which is called Summer. Let's load that bad boy in and uh, see what it sounds like. Uh, so, summer. Yeah, I mean, you can see the sample here. It's loading like 430 megs. Because, I mean, it's a big sample. I think the whole thing was about 9 gigabytes when you download it. Uh, so, it's a fairly hefty kind of pack. So, let's have a listen. Ooh. So, it's still got that nice guitar tone, but more of a pad kind of vibe. So if you kind of hit hard, you get a nice kind of like a almost little pluck sound. But if you just press softly, you get that nice slow attack. So kind of very expressive as well. Okay, like in that, uh, an endless ocean. This sounds interesting. Let's see what this one is going to give us. And uh, all right, let's, oh, let's just close that down and then we'll load him in there. Uh, so yeah, I have I'm, on a few of these others that I'm loading. I have just edited them out. I mean, it takes 15, 20 seconds some of these to load in to get the whole memory. I mean, this is not as big as the other one, but uh, an endless ocean. I mean, I'm getting inspired already to do some ambient nonsense. So how many presets have we got here? Is it 50 again? Yeah. That's what we got down at the end. I don't know. Floating on air. Sounds interesting. See what this one sounds like. And then we'll have a listen to the what the other section was. I think that was like more keys, I think. So what have we got? We've got keys. Yeah. Okay, so that sample took a good 20, 30 seconds to load. It's still going now. It's in there now. So uh, it's like half a that's like 580 megabytes uh, of loading time. So, yes, <laughs> you can be patient with this one. So, it's a massive file. I'm expecting big things. Let's have a listen. Ooh. That's bloody lovely. I mean, there's a track there where I could just write a track just with this. Could have that going in the background. Beautiful. I just 
playing it off push as well makes it really easy. Okay, right. I'm excited for this. This is great. Uh, really excited to get stuck into this one. Right, let's just do a few of these, otherwise this is going to go on way too long of me getting excited about some sounds. <laughs> so, but whatever, It'll deal with it. Uh, right, I'm going to pick one at random. Uh, amplified flutter. Why not? Okay, let's see what this one's going to sound like. Right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not floating my boat much. Uh, but, you know, that's just me. Soft keys. Let's try soft keys. I'm just going to get one that sounds a little bit more uh, key. -y. Soft keys A, B, and C. So I'm not sure if that's relative to the, the notes or it's just like version A, version B, and version C. Uh, who knows? I guess the people who made it know. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and I'm guessing we've got 50. Yeah, so you've got 50 presets for each of the three kind of uh, different packs. Um, and, uh, yeah. Okay, I might try Big Bass next. That sounds interesting. So, Soft Keys A. <laughs> yeah, nice. I like that. low notes as well they're really nice uh, all right I'm gonna do one more let's do big bass we all need big bass in our life so let's hope it's big and bassy uh, I quite enjoy the old res reacts to software it's a bit different um, just see what other ones we've got down here anything exciting don't know right let's have a listen okay let's get a bit bassier I don't know if it's my headphones, I'm getting a little bit of distortion on that. I may just have the bloody thing turned up too loud, but let's um let's just turn that down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that was yeah, alright, I wanna do one more. I wanna finish on one that's getting me excited. Delay tactics. I'm assuming this is gonna have some delay on it. We would assume. So let's see what this one sounds like. Delay tactics. I'm going to leave it at this one. Right. It's quite nice. I mean, obviously, they've all got that kind of guitar sort of vibe to them, because that's what it's all about. But if you want something that doesn't actually sound like a you know normal guitar, then. And they're very expressive to play. But I think some of those pad ones are going to be my favourite, uh, definitely. Right, so, um, yeah. First reaction, not too shabby at all. Um, in fact, got me quite excited. I, it's, I mean... I'm in a bit of a lull of writing stuff at the moment, and I need a bit of inspiration, particularly for some ambient stuff, because I wanted to do some uh, ambient stuff. I'm working on a new album at the moment, and uh, this is certainly going to help. So I'm going to give it a, a Res React thumbs up, two thumbs up even, so far, because it's, uh, it's sounding good. It's sounding exciting, and I'm going to play with that for a couple of weeks. And uh, I'll, I'll get to know what all this nonsense means down here, because I haven't got a clue at the moment. Uh, and, oh, right, okay, I just found all the effects as well. So uh, there's obviously a lot you can do with it in terms of sound design. And because uh, I think you just, these are all your sounds, I'm guessing. Yeah, but I'll go through that in a uh, a proper video when I do a full review of it. So thanks for watching this one. I hope that's of interest to you. If there's anybody else got any nice software out there that they, uh, you know, they want me to review and react to, then uh, send it over and I would be happy to do so. So thanks for watching and I will be back very soon with a normal Res Reacts listening to some music. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.